My name is Adam Byrne. I'm a technical service manager for FMC covering Michigan, Ohio, and Indiana. I'm here with Owen Bishop, our precision ag field specialist intern that worked in Indiana last summer monitoring our smart traps in, in row crops, mostly corn. And today we're going to talk to you about corn earworm monitoring and control uh, with specifically uh, with regards to corn. You know, corn earworm is a ubiquitous pest that is a problem in a lot of different crops and ranging from cotton, tomatoes, peppers, soybeans, and corn. And it goes by a couple names like tomato fruitworm and cotton bollworm. But today we're going to focus on the impact it has in corn. And in, in bad years, yield damage in, in field corn can range from 2 to 16 percent, whereas in sweet corn, you could have yield loss up to 50% in a, in a peak flight year. So it's really important that we, we monitor these pests and we figure out the best ways to control them. So the moths don't overwinter in most of our territory. Uh, the winters are too harsh, but in the extreme southern Indiana and Ohio, some probably do overwinter. Uh, but that means the bulk of the, the moths move into our area with weather fronts. And so the timing of their arrival and the, the numbers that arrive can fluctuate year to year based on the weather conditions. Uh, the moths are small, buffy, noctuid moths that have a little black comma-shaped spot on their front wing. And when they show up, they'll, they'll lay eggs on the silk themselves. They lay eggs singly rather than in egg masses that we think of in some of the other lepidopteran pests. And those eggs can hatch in two to five days. And they may lay as many as 500 to 3,000 eggs per female, so high fecundity. But when those lay eggs hatch, the larvae will, will quickly move down the silk channel and get into the ear tip. And the larvae can be any multicolored, pink, black, brown, green. Um, they have a dark lateral stripe and a brown head capsule. Um, but really the trick is when they get down into that, that ear itself, then it's hard to get them, um, the insecticide to control them. So we need to time that insecticide very carefully so that we can control the damage they cause. So Owen, tell us a little bit about the monitoring efforts you did this summer. Absolutely. Um, so usually what you would do when you're trying to monitor a pest like this is you would put a trap out into the field um, and then basically you would have to go out every single day um, and check that trap and see how many insects you caught and that would give you the information that you would need um, to go ahead and decide whether it was worth um, spraying an insecticide um, to get rid of that pest. But what this piece of technology allows you to do, and this is a smart trap by FMC, um, it has a camera positioned on top of it and then a sticky trap inside. So it's basically a sticky sheet with a sex pheromone on top of it. Um, and that will basically lure the corner earworm into the trap. And then this, um, this camera will take pictures of it and then upload it to an, art, um, to an app called the Arc Intelligence app that FMC has designed. And basically what that allows the farmers to do is they can check every single day um, and look at the images that are being taken by this trap um, and that will allow them to monitor the pest pressure um, and see whether or not they need to spray without having to go out to the field every single day and check that pest. So it's a big time saver. That's pretty cool. You know, one of the, the traditional techniques for trapping these was to put out, you know, kind of a, a hoop trap or in, and you would, you'd go out and monitor those traps, collect the insects, count them and identify them on a daily basis or every few days. And so you're your frequency of visits could really impact the accuracy of your timing. So this tell, you're telling me this will tell you on your phone every night how many insects were caught the night before. Absolutely, and it makes it super easy so that all you have to do is just open up your phone and check rather than having to go out to the field um, and physically count every single one. So the importance there is then you know when the peak flights are happening and when those eggs are being laid. And so you can get an insecticide application on before or right as those eggs are hatching. And again, as like I said, when those larvae get down into the ear tip, the damage they can cause is they chew around at the ear tip, they chew up kernels, they leave frass in the ear. They can also be a source of a disease uh, moving in or even you know, mycotoxin can uh, build up in field corn because of the fungi that will infect that damaged area. So getting that control is important. And one option FMC offers that's a very strong lepidopteran control product is Vanticore insect control. And Vanticore is a, an anthranoic diamide. And what it does is by when those larvae hatch and either feed on tissues or get some contact with that insecticide, it changes the behavior. So they may not die instantly. It's not an instant contact killer, but they'll change their behavior. They stop the feeding and they eventually just die. So it's a really effective uh, product that has a high, high concentration, low use rate, long lasting. And another benefit is it actually will have activity against grasshoppers. 
Um, is not bad against beneficial insects and it has no bee warning, so it's good to get for it's a positive product to use with pollinators in the area. Um, now, one concern with um, with eggs being laid on the silk is silk grow very rapidly. So any new growth since you spray is, could grow an inch or two in a couple of days or would be unprotected. But if you need to rotate something else in or you want something for kind of resistance management, um, Steward EC insecticide would be another option that is a very good effective Lepidopteran product. So Owen, thank you for your work this summer and uh, the Smart Trap technology looks like a great addition to our, our portfolio. Absolutely, I'm excited to see where it goes.